Hello everyone, welcome back to a new tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you how you can use Dash 3D environment inside Unreal Engine 5.1.1. So, you need to install a plugin, uh, not the bridge that is provided by uh, official side of Dash Studio, but a different plugin from GitHub. It has been updated time and time again. So, this is the latest one and you will see how to install and all these things where to keep uh, your plugin where to put it everything else i'm not gonna go to that um, uh, stuff uh, you can do that easily i'm just gonna put a link in the description where you can download it so after you're done you will see this option enabled and you open your unreal engine 5 project i'm doing a third person template I'm going to start with a complete clean slate. After that, you go to your plugin, you search for DAS, and you will see this over here. I already checked it. So, if you haven't done this before, uh, you need to tick that and you need to restart the project all over again. So, yeah, let's begin. I'm just gonna put um, a sky. That I use in general for demonstrations. It's preparing shaders. Let's go to Dash Studio. So today I'm going to use an environment prop from the artist Andre Pestryakov. So I will use um, Arches of the Past. There you go. As you can see, it's quite detailed. And you have everything you need from mud and grasses and everything. Also, you can change these grasses with the Mega Scan assets as well. I mean, the sky is not the limit so yeah that's that okay since i'm using ray tracing it's taking some time uh it's preparing shaders meantime i will enable my um ray tracing since i'm using rtx i mean so why not right All right, let's go to Dash Studio and to Dash go environment. Will pop up every time for different props and pieces. Of the model. You just press accept. After done, you will see a pop-up over here. In the meantime, as you can see, it's already in progress. The more pieces you will have, the bigger the scene will be and there will be more pop-up to accept your props. Since it has been populating and
I will fast forward this piece. As you can see, everything has been imported from Dash Studio without missing a single thing. My FPS might drop a bit since I'm using cinematic scalability. So nothing has been removed or re replaced. Everything is here as it is over here. Anyway, so I hope you found this tutorial useful. I mean, as you can import your Dash Studio environment inside um, Unreal Engine 5.1.1. And yeah, you can do whatever you want to do over here in this one. So yeah, that's that. Also, um, okay, let's. How it looks on with different um, presets. I'm using Sky Creator. I will put the link of the marketplace in the description. So you can give it a try as well if you want to. I like the fantasy one and two. I think the two best. One is a bit over the head my taste yeah this one is much better yeah let's go back to it. Oh, yeah okay so i hope this tutorial was useful for you if you need anything else in the future do let me know uh i might be a bit slow nowadays due to my work pressure as i'm not a full-time youtuber i just do this for fun nothing more so yeah uh, let me know and thank you and if you did anything after learning this tutorial do share your uh, cinematics or still images through links i would love to check them out that would be kind of fun uh, at the end of the day this is a community that we're trying to make and there is no end of learning so yeah that's that and have fun